Welcome to the ISHL Game of the Week on the Legacy Sports Network. Live from the Aerodrome in the Willowbrook area of Houston, Texas. Tonight it's a North Division showdown as second place Tomball meets last place Cy Woods. Good evening everybody. Michael Silver is flying solo on this Friday night for this solo game in the Interscholastic Hockey League. Everybody's eyes and ears focused on this one here at the Aerodrome, the rest of the league in action on Sunday. And it's coming down to the end of the season with just one more weekend of action to go after this one before the playoffs get going on March 22nd. And tonight in this North Division matchup between second place Tomball and last place Cy Woods, it's the standalone game on this Friday night in the ISHL. For Tomball, they come in off a 5-0 shutout loss to College Station despite putting up 34 shots on goal. And they will be without their leading scorer, Will Shimp, tonight. He got suspended in the College Station game after taking a game misconduct for head contact. It's an accumulation of game misconducts taken by the senior, Will Shimp. So Tom Ball will be without their top scorer tonight. Meanwhile, as far as the Wildcats are concerned, it's been a very tough season for them. They've tasted victory just three times and are currently just one point behind Fair Creek in the standings with two games left to play. Kenneth Fisher, who is in his first season in the ISHL, moved down here from up north, is leading the Wildcats with 20 goals, but he has only played 12 games. The last game was also against College Station, a 6-2 loss. Their last win came against PFC back on February 4th after losing 10 in a row, going all the way back to October. Coming up next, we'll have the scratches of tonight's game, the goaltending matchup, and our starting lineups as we continue to count down the puck drop here from the Aerodrome. This is the ISHL Game of the Week on the Legacy Sports Network. To ring in the new year with a bang? Top Dog Fireworks is your place with a massive selection of amazing, high-flying, colorful, professional-looking fireworks. Top Dog Fireworks offers great buy one, get one free deals on select fireworks from multiple categories. Can't decide on exactly what you want? Their staff can help you set up the most unforgettable fireworks show. Visit TopDogFireworks.com to find directions to a location near you and the best selection in Houston. Top Dog Fireworks. Say it with a boom. Bonfire Wings is a neighborhood-based, fast, casual counter service restaurant. Bonfire Wings specializes in 12 unique flavors of hot wings. Traditional favorites like gumbo and boudin are mainstays. They boast wing sauces with creative names such as Cajun Mojo, Garlic Parmesan, Spicy Creole, Insanely Hot, the award-winning and top seller Honey Barbecue, Hot Lemon Pepper, and Sweet Heat. Two Houston area locations including in North Shore on Wood Forest Boulevard. Bonfire Wings, genuine Creole, uniquely Cajun. Looking for electrical help you can count on? Switch to Mr. Electric. We have some of the best trained electricians in the business, and they're ready to help you with any project, big or small. Best of all, with Mr. Electric, our work is 100% guaranteed. That's why so many people trust Mr. Electric. We've got the power to make things better. Mr. Electric. Blue Sky IT Partners solves your toughest technology challenges so you can capitalize on your biggest business opportunities. We're in the business of creating clarity and challenge solving. We are experts in telecom, cloud, and cybersecurity, and we help you navigate the moving target that is today's IT landscape. Visit our website at blueskyitpartners.com. Blue Sky IT Partners, creating clarity, delivering impact. Now for your Wellness Minute with Dr. Tom Ball and Cy Woods about to take the ice for warm-ups. There's only one scratch tonight belongs to Cy Woods. They will scratch third goaltender Leon Mancia, a freshman. And he is the only scratch of the game tonight. Now keep in mind for Tom Ball, they will be without Will Shimp, their leading scorer, as he is suspended for an accumulation of game misconduct penalties. Starting lineups are brought to you by Bonfire Wings, genuinely Creole, uniquely Cajun. We'll start in goal for Tom Ball. It's David McMillan, the junior. He is first in wins this season, 
fourth in goals against average with a 2.90 goals against. And third in the league in save percentage with a 9.05 save percentage. McMillan has four shutouts this season, six for his career, and stopped 26 of 31 shots in the loss to College Station last time out. For Cy Woods, they will go with Chance Miller, the freshman who got his first victory of the season back on February 4th against PFC in 8-2 final. He's got a 5.43 goals against average and an 8.40 save percentage. Starting lineups on the ice for Tomball. The Fords are Noah Zimmerman, who head coach Colin Grubb told me before coming on the air tonight, in the absence of Will Shim, he really needs a big game out of the senior Noah Zimmerman. He'll be joined up front by Blake Shimp and Cole Grubb on defense, Wyatt Hart and Alex Zimmerman. For head coach Vincent Solano and the Sidewoods Wildcats, at Ford will be Kenneth Fisher, the team's leading scorer. He'll be joined by Patrick Dunn up front and Jeremy Solano on the blue line, Curtis Bratchlow and Ray Lopresti. Teams are coming out on the ice for warm-ups. Let's run down the North Division standings with two weekends of ISHL regular season play remaining. Klein just two points ahead of Tom Ball. They're 11-4-3 with 25 points. In second, Tom Ball 10-5-3 with 23 points. Then you have a bit of a drop-off in third College Station, 17 points, 8-9-1 on the season. The Woodlands 6-10-2 with 14 points. Fair Creek, one point ahead of Cy Woods. They are 3-14-1. The difference maker, that one tie. And with six points in last place, the Wildcats, 3-14-0. Also for the South Division, San Antonio leading the way. Last year's Justice Cup champions with 30 points. They are 14-2-2. Memorial West just a single point behind the Rampage, 14-3-1. Straight Jesuit, four points behind the Whalers, who won a state championship earlier this season up in Dallas. Straight Jesuit, 12-4-1 with 25 points. Ridge Point, 10-8-0. They have 20 points after a victory two weekends ago over Seven Lakes. Seven Lakes are 5-11-2. They have 12 points. They are locked in to number five when the playoffs get underway in late March. PFC in last place. 2-14 and 2 with 6 points on the season. This is Tom Ball's senior night, so we may have a delayed start. Will Ship, I believe, is dressed enough just to go through the senior night festivities before he'll have to exit the ice. The officials for tonight's game, and it's good to see John Dibburn back. He's one of the referees. He recently suffered some broken ribs. He was on the road to recovery. I actually saw him at a doctor's office. We were talking about it in the dressing room prior to coming on the air. He said, you know what? I, want, I recognize you. I just didn't want to assume. And I assumed who he was but didn't bring anything up at the moment. But he's back and taking the ice after suffering some broken ribs. He was cross-checked. <laughs> And, but he's all good. Jared Schoen is the other referee tonight. Working the lines are Chris New and Daniel Blaine. This game tonight is a rematch from September 22nd, which was the second game of the season for both teams. Tom Ball picked up the win 5-2 with Will Shimp and Jack Peterson, each potting two goals. Curtis Bratchlow and Kenneth Fisher each scored a goal for the Wildcats in the loss. Tomball outshot Cy Woods in the game 35 to 21. David McMillan made 19 saves for Tomball. Zachary Kenny stopped 30 of 35 for Cy Woods. And the game was pretty tame, all things considered. Only nine penalties were taken, all minors. Tomball took six of them. Still a bit delayed. We'll take one more timeout, and on our return, hopefully the teams will have started warm-ups at the very least as senior night about to get underway for Tomball here at the Aerodrome. This is the ISHL Game of the Week on the Legacy Sports Network. 
Now for your Wellness Minute with Dr. Steve Hotze. Not only do your allergies contribute to missed days at work and increased health care costs, allergies also contribute to overall poor health and can decrease your quality of life. Allergies cause your cells to release histamine, which causes inflammation. This inflammatory response can affect your sinuses, lungs, skin, nerves, joints, muscles, and other organs. Allergies can begin at any age, even midlife, and if left untreated can lead to sinus infections, skin disorders, asthma, migraines, and insomnia. Medications can only mask symptoms. Experience shows that it's better to prevent the underlying allergic reaction. Imagine how nice it will be to enjoy the outdoors without suffering from allergies. The Hotsey Health and Wellness Center identifies the root cause of symptoms, helping to restore your health. We resolve allergies naturally and conveniently with our new state-of-the-art low-dose immunotherapy treatment. Call a wellness consultant today at 281-990-4793. That's 281-990-4793. Time to buy, sell, or lease residential or commercial property? Kim Walt and Danette Watuski with REMAX Results will help make it a smooth transaction. Their customers deserve and will receive the finest service ever offered by any real estate agents. REMAX Results, hashtag real estate pro. Like Kim Walt says, your home, your future, our commitment. Their phone number is 713-777-SOLD. Everything we do at Blue Bayou Cafe starts with the food and ends with our world-famous G-style crawfish sauce. Enjoyment of good food is the foundation of society and defining expression of a culture. Our food takes from the great melting pot of French, African, and Spanish traditions that gave us Cajun, Creole, Tex-Mex, barbecue, and more that are all celebrated in the Bayou country of Texas. Our world-renowned G-style crawfish sauce is the perfect sauce to go with all of our delicious traditional cuisines. Go visit our location off the I-10 East Freeway in Houston, Texas. Blue Bayou Cafe. Go get some live crawfish fish today. At McCree Ford, we know you have a lot of choices on where to buy your next vehicle. We have spent over 70 years treating our customers like family, and our mission is still the same, to treat you with honesty, integrity, and respect. Come see us. There is no obligation to buy, and we can walk you through our transparent process. There are no surprises at the end. Plus, McCree Ford customers can take advantage of our free Loaners for Owners program. Come see why our customers say, McCree Ford, that's my dealer. Located on I-45 South, exit 19 in Dickinson, or shop McCreeFord.com. Ready to ring in the new year with a bang? Top Dog Fireworks is your place with a massive selection of amazing, high-flying, colorful, professional-looking fireworks. Top Dog Fireworks offers great buy one, get one free deals on select fireworks from multiple categories. Can't decide on exactly what you want? Their staff can help you set up the most unforgettable fireworks show. Visit TopDogFireworks.com to find directions to a location near you and the best selection in Houston. Top Dog Fireworks. Say it with a boom. Looking for electrical help you can count on? Switch to Mr. Electric. We have some of the best trained electricians in the business, and they're ready to help you with any project, big or small. Best of all, with Mr. Electric, our work is 100% guaranteed. That's why so many people trust Mr. Electric. We've got the power to make things better. Mr. Electric. Blue Sky IT Partners solves your toughest technology challenges so you can capitalize on your biggest business opportunities. We're in the business of creating clarity and challenge solving. We are experts in telecom, cloud, and cybersecurity, and we help you navigate the moving target that is today's IT landscape. Visit our website at blueskyitpartners.com. Blue Sky IT Partners, creating clarity, delivering impact. Tom Ball in the middle of their senior night festivities here at the Aerodrome. Michael Silver's with you ahead of Tom Ball and the Side Woods Wildcats. Two more weekends of regular season ISHL hockey remaining here in 2024 before the playoffs get started the weekend of March 22nd. We released our schedule to the league Earlier this week, we will have a South Division first round matchup on Friday down in Sugarland, the 6.30 game on the 22nd. Here at the Aerodrome for a North Division semifinal doubleheader with games at 3.30 and 5.30. And then the Justice Cup final Sunday night, March 24th at 7. And those are the games we will feature on the Legacy Sports Network in late March. Last year's Justice Cup champion, San Antonio, primed to repeat 
They lead the North Division by a single point. Their stiffest competition could very well be Memorial West and Tomball along with Klein. Tomball is so unique, folks, because I've been covering this league for the better part of 14 years, and I don't believe I've ever seen a team be at or near the top of their division while being at the bottom of the league in total goals scored, bottom of the league in power play efficiency, and almost at the top in total penalty minutes. But yet, here Tom Ball are, one point, make it two points behind Klein for first place in the North Division as warm-ups have started here in the Aerodrome. Tomball will wear red. Cy Woods will wear white. It's been a tough year for Vincent Solano and the Wildcats. You go back to last season's playoffs, they fought San Antonio really tough in the North Division playoffs, but ran out of gas. Tomball, excuse me, San Antonio a bit too talented. I mean, they went wire to wire. I don't know if they even suffered a tie last season. Straight Jesuit was the only team that defeated San Antonio, but that wasn't in league play. That was at a tournament somewhere maybe in the Austin area, if I remember correctly. Memorial West won the Division 1B state championship. Actually, that was the Division 1A state championship. Earlier, I believe it was earlier this month, may have been late January. Congratulations to the Whalers, a good showing by Memorial West. Winning the state title up in the DFW area. Coming up next for Tomball, they will get the Crusaders the straight Jesuit on March 3rd. That's a 6.45 puck drop. Cy Woods, they'll get the tough Memorial West Whalers on March 1st. That is an 8.30 puck drop down in Sugarland, and that will do it for the regular season in the Interscholastic Hockey League. Again, if you're just joining us, Tom Ball will be without their top scorer, Will Shimp, as he is suspended for an accumulation of game misconduct penalties, including a 10-minute game misconduct for head contact last time out on the ice against College Station. Cy si Woods will have their top scorer, first-year skater in the ISHL, Kenneth Fisher, who has 20 goals, six assists, 26 points. Curtis Bratchlow has 13 goals as a defenseman. Talking with assistant coach Dale Bloom prior to coming on the air tonight. Bratchlow is given the keys to activate from the defenseman spot. He is really quick with the puck and fast behind the net. And we'll see how much of a difference it makes with Tomball not having their top score in the lineup. He has 11 goals. The next closest to him are Alex McMillan, Jack Peterson, and Ashton Butler. They each have five tallies for head coach Colin Grubb and Tomball. Just over a minute remaining in warm-ups before we will drop the puck in this North Division tilt. My partner in crime, David Feliciano, should be back with me for our regular season finale next week. Rich Point and Straight Jesuit from Sugarland. Cy Woods, 3-14-0. Won their very first game of the season, then lost three straight, won another, then lost 10 in a row. 
before defeating Pearland Friendswood on February 4th. Warm-up's just about done. There's the horn. McMillan and Miller in nets. Ball ball coming in off a loss, 5-0 to College Station. Cy Woods comes in off a loss to the Thunder, 6-2. Playoff format, talking about the playoffs a little earlier. The top two teams in each division will get first round buys. The three will take on the sixth place team in each division and the fourth and fifth place teams will match up. Winners will move on to take on the first and second place teams. Lowest seed will play the first place team. In the semifinals of each division, division finals on Sunday morning, the Justice Cup final Sunday evening. McMillan will be stationed to my right, and Miller will have the goal to my left. The Wildcats certainly with more firepower in terms of players available and their penchant for scoring goals. They are eighth in the league in goals scored with 55. Tomball at the bottom with only 47 goals scored this season. This game was supposed to start at 7.05. We're going to get started almost at the bottom of the hour. Dunn will take the faceoff for Cy Woods. And Tom Ball wins it, and they control from right to left, then lose it at the red line. Spun just into the Tom Ball zone by Fisher before it is quickly cleared. Shuttled right back in as Fisher attacks the puck and has it poked away from him into the near boards. And they will recoil with Wyatt Hart. Flings it up the near boards, but kept alive by Lopresti. Skates in below the goal line, hassled by Alex Zimmerman. And then it is backhanded out to the neutral zone as Bratchlow will track it down in his own end. Curtis Bratchlow, 13 goals, 20 points. Fisher goes rink wide with the feed, backhanded in by Connor Wilson on first shift. And here's Bratchlow skating left to right, leaves it for Dunn, but he skates across the blue line offside. Bratchlow is in across first. And an early whistle, 53 seconds in. Bratchlow, probably the fastest skater on the ice, remains on the ice at left defense. And the face-off win goes to him, and he'll shuffle it into the zone, but it ricochets out of play, then back onto the ice surface. And they'll drop the puck just outside of the tomball zone again. Bratchlow flings it from the neutral zone into the glove of McMillan, who drops it to a teammate. It is flipped. Out to center ice, Bratchlow tracks it down in his own end. Watched by Vandermal on the forecheck, flipped out to the neutral zone on left wing to Parsa Shabastari. Ricochets just outside of the zone, spun back in by Diaz and then cleared by Tomball all the way down. Icing his whistle on Tomball, 13.33 to go. Tomball looking for the season sweep. Defeated Cy Woods back in September, 5-2. McMillan, first in the league and wins with 10. Watches the face off to his left. Shabastari spins it back to the half-wing boards. It's picked off by Tomball. Out the center ice, chipped ahead by Butler. Wheeled off the play by Lopresti. And then checked into the boards by Ray. Spun back as Hart with a glove or with a wrist shot just off the catching glove of Miller. Out into the opposite corner of the ice. 
Spun in below the goal line. Centering feed. That one never got to Miller. And it is lifted to the point. Spun back towards the slot. And then lifted clear by the Wildcats. Hard at left defense. Chases it down. As Tom Ball try to begin another rush up the ice. Puck is turned over. Here's Cora and Miller at left defense for Cy Woods to the neutral zone, and it is shuttled back in by Tom Ball. Wissing for Cy Woods out to the neutral zone, turned over. Lay down the boards and all the way down, and icing called again on Tom Ball with 2.32 gone in period number one, no score. Faceoff comes down to the right of McMillan. Jacob G will take the faceoff. And he loses it, controlled by Tomball. Peterson off the skate of his teammate, wheeling through the middle of the ice is McMillan. And then a wrist shot is blocked by Diaz's stick. Down below the goal line, centering feed. And McMillan couldn't get a shot off. Wissing points or pokes at it. Peterson takes it away and shoots it back in. Diaz has it for Cy Woods. Three minutes gone by, first period, no score. Flipped out the center ice all the way through the offensive zone and down for icing. 309 gone. Face off will come down to Chance Miller. Got his first victory of the season back on February 4th, an 8-2 win over PFC. He is a freshman in goal for head coach Vincent Solano. Patrick Dunn loses the faceoff. Vandermarl, left point, Watson shot is blocked and sent down as Diaz ices it for Cy Woods. Faceoff comes right back down to Miller. Dunn will take the face off against Kingsley Letty. Fisher's back out on the ice. He has two hat tricks this season. Four goal game against PFC on February 4th and a five goal game on November 12th and an 8-6 loss to Ridge Point. Lopresti looks it out the center ice. Solano at the red line, backhands it into the Tom Ball zone. Lopresti hot on the trail of Hart. On the four check, then Solano shoots from the far wall, sticked aside by McMillan. Kept alive at the point, done. Plays it to an empty spot on the far boards, and it is skated out from right to left by Tom Ball. Shot in, Letty will get there first. Nope, shot from behind the red line, and another icing is called. With 4.52 gone by in period number one in the scoreless game. Face off to the right of McMillan, one by Cy Wood, shot blocked off the stick of Fisher. Carried behind the net by Tom Ball, and then lifted out to the neutral zone, right on the stick of Lopresti. Ray Lopresti, 4, 7, and 11 this season as Fisher skates in, wrist shot from the top of the right circle, and a glove save by McMillan. 4-10 from the first period. Tom Ball just two points behind Klein with two games left to play. They split the regular season series a game apiece. Face off to the left of McMillan. Chabastari battles for the puck off the face off. Diaz tries to keep it alive. It's kicked out to the neutral zone. Skating down left wing. Curry shot. Kick save by Miller. Brochlow up the boards. Teammate falls down. That's Caden Fry, a freshman. Up middle of the ice, gated in by Brochlow, then left for a shot and a stick save by McMillan. Fried has a stick lifted from behind, deep in the side woods in. Puck comes his way, though, and he'll play it up to Brochlow. Brochlow across the red line, cuts to his left and gains the zone, and then is quickly poked away from him by Alex Zimmerman, the sophomore. Lifted into the Wildcat zone as Fry plays it to the far boards. 
And then a cross-site pass comes all the way to McMillan. And Alex McMillan, a freshman for Tom Ball, had his shot blocked, and it's lifted back out to the neutral zone onto the stick of the very tall Peterson. Jack Peterson, just a sophomore. Uh, Shabba Starry deals with him in the offensive zone. It's Peterson who skates it from his right to his left through center ice with 9.30 to go. It's Peterson, forced wide by Wissing, and a wrist shot and a save by Miller. Now it's Wissing, able to clear it out to the neutral zone where it's Watson at right defense to play it for Tomball. Across for Peterson, and he wedges it back into the Wildcat zone. For Ann Miller up the far boards, Wissing his shoulder down. Centering pass is picked off by Lopresti, kicked back out the center ice where it's shot back in by Peterson as he falls on his backside in the neutral zone. Slap back to the point. Peterson shoots wide off the glass. It ricochets all the way out to the center zone as we play with 8.50 to go in the first period. Scoreless between Tom Ball and Cy Woods. Michael Silver's flying solo with you here from the Aerodrome. Again, shot back in by Peterson over the goalie Miller. Now Wissing up the far board, stopped at the half wing, and Zimmerman able to keep it alive in the offensive zone before G swings and misses on his clearing attempt. Poked by Miller, backhanded back towards the red line, excuse me, the uh, blue line, and then Watson sends it in deep. Cora Ann Miller will play it behind the net. And then a backhander at the side of the cage, and Miller is able to stop it as Vandermarle. Had that attempt, 8-14 remaining in the first period. Still scoreless between Cy Woods and Tom Ball. Good pace, action at both ends. Dunn loses the face off and a centering feed trickles into the crease and Miller is able to drop on it and smother. Bachelow loses the, or actually wins the face off. Fisher couldn't get it out to the neutral zone. Good active stick by Noah Zimmerman. Fisher still can't clear the zone. Then it is skated out by Dunn from left to right. Comes to the near boards in a skate race. And he gets to the puck right at the same time as Hart. And it flips out of play. 7.03 gone by. Period number one. No score. Only game in the league tonight. Busy Sunday schedule, though. Good crowd on hand on Tom Ball's senior night. They actually tried to do senior night in January, but there was a player suspended, and they couldn't get it then, and they rescheduled for tonight, but then while Will Shimp was suspended. Here's Curry, tried a centering pass. It's turned over in the slot. Here's Noah Zimmerman, takes it down the right wing, boards in the corner below the goal line, a shot and a save by Miller as he was able to stymie Butler. Cy Woods iced the puck with 7.25 to go. Cy Woods will make a change. Looks like the same five Tom Ball skaters will remain on the ice for an offensive zone draw. Face off control by Tom Ball, shot by Butler, blocked. Down below the goal line and fried. Fried stick handling. Lays it ahead. Backhanded out to neutral zone. A little swipe and a miss by Bloom at the red line. Turned over to Shabastari. He ladles it back to Miller. Miller turned over in the neutral zone to Blake Shemp, but hard off his stick, and Fried recovers. Or Cy Woods. Goes rink wide with his feet out of the reach of Shabastari. Hart will hand it over to his defense partner. And it is Alex Zimmerman. Kicks it ahead at the red line, then skates it in. There's a shot and a save. Actually, that was blocked as Alex Zimmerman has it again. Spun back Butler. Butler with a wrist shot from distance, and it is blockered away by Miller. Cora Ann Miller 
But Noah Zimmerman in the corner. They cancel each other out. The puck comes free to Shabastari. In his own end, he flips it out to the center zone. Peterson takes down Bloom, and he'll skate it in down left wing. Put on the brakes. Cross-ice pass off the heel of the stick of Colin Grubb. And then skated from left to right. And filtered back into the zone by Lopresti. 6.05 remaining first period, no score. Kept alive at the point by Shabastari. Flipped into the left wing corner, fried in deep. Leaves it in the corner, and it's turned over to Grubb. And then attacking out to the neutral zone. It is spun back in, though, by Bratchlow. 26 goals for his career, one hat trick. Came against PFC on February 4th, 5.45 to go. Back for another rush from right to left comes Tomball. Here's Noah Zerman, down right wing. Hassled by Shabastari, and then canceled out by Diaz. And Peterson whacks the stick away on a shot attempt. It gets it again. Kick save off his shot by Miller. Diaz has it, and he falls down. Bratchlow leaves it for the now standing Diaz, who plays it up the near boards. Spun to the half wing to McMillan. Shot save by Miller as he stops Noah Zerman. Kept alive in the offensive zone by Sidney Newton at left point. Spun in down low, then filtered around the boards by Diaz. Kept alive by Peterson, a long shot, and a left pad save by Miller. Here comes Bratchlow with speed, galloping from left to right, striding in across the blue line on his backhand. He shoots, and a kick save by McMillan. 4.50 to go. Bratchlow keeps the clearing attempt inside the zone. Down below the goal line for Bloom. Spun to Wissing in the right wing circle, then turned over as Peterson intercepts. And he strides from left to right. Gains the zone, shoots. And he's got a powerful wrist shot, but he's off target with the shot. In the left wing corner, Peterson and Bratchlow come together. Tries to shoot it from below the goal line, hits the side of the net. He gets it back, filters the centering pass that is stopped by Miller with 4.21 remaining in the opening period. No score here from the Aerodrome. Face off and another shot, another save by Miller. Goes back out to the neutral zone. Flip back in by Grant Watson. It goes on goal and Miller will play it to the near boards. Out of the reach of Vandermarle. Swiping at it, Lopresti takes it out of his own end and shoots it in. Off the end boards, Fisher has it left wing. Wiped out by Watson. Then Fisher gets it back. The puck is loose along the far boards with 3.45 to go. Two on two cluster. Wrapped around to the near boards. And ooh, a big hit by Lepresti as he shoulders a tomball skater. They do not have numbers on their sleeves. I got to wait for them to turn around. That was Vandermarl. Now Letty back to the neutral zone for Dunn. Turned over at center. Fisher tried to shoot it in. His glove down at the blue line. And we have a whistle. So far, a very friendly game. Usually by this point, Tomball's taken six penalties. They have a combined 372 penalty minutes this season. Only the Woodlands has more with 400. By comparison, Cy Woods is seventh in the league with 212 collective penalty minutes. No score with 321 remaining. Face off outside of the Tomball zone. Shabastari will take it for Cy Woods. Puck comes into the Tom Ball zone. Played out to center ice. Carried along by Blake Shemp. Tied a centering feed. Hart couldn't get a shot away. Kept alive in the corner before Bratchlow stands up the player for Tom Ball. Up the boards, out to center ice, is out of the reach of Bloom. Now it's Butler, and he is stopped at the Sidewoods bench by one of the Wildcats, and now that is Fried. Has it at right defense. Pitchforks it out to center ice, where it is taken on from left to right by Shabastari. He has Fried breaking down right wing. Fried has to wait for Shabastari to backhand it in to the offensive zone, where Tom Ball takes control. 
Puck is feathered to Butler along the right wing at his own blue line. And he sends it in, cross corner. Taken on by Diaz. 2.20 remaining in the first period as Bratchlow skates with speed. The captain for Cy Woods down the right wing boards. Left it there as he was stood up by Zimmerman. And then we have the game's first penalty for roughing. as called by John Dibburn. It's going to be on Tomball. League's most penalized teams. Alex Zimmerman will go. Twelve forty-nine, the time of the penalty. Alex Zimmerman, thirty-six penalty minutes for the sophomore prior to that penalty. And a face-off and a Mr. Electric power play. For Cy Woods, Mr. Electric, we have the power to make things better. Shot from a sharp angle as Fisher is stopped by David McMillan. Cy Woods has the league's fifth ranked power play. They're 14 to 59. Tom Ball, the seventh best penalty kill. 19 goals allowed, one shorthanded goal this season, killing penalties at a 77.4% clip. Cy Woods is 23.7% on the power play. Solano tries a cross ice pass, but it rolls all the way down back into his own zone. 20 seconds gone from the start of this power play. Well, Presti, left wing, Brachlow, wrist shot blocked by Peterson. Far boards, Brachlow has a teammate, Lepresti, with them. Puck filtered through the middle of the ice and cleared by Tomball. Fisher with a lead to Brachlow, turned over. Fisher. Was able to get by Noah McMillan at his own blue line and skated in from left to right. Backhand, a shot save done by McMillan. Bratchlow gloves it down. A minute to go on the power play and Tom Ball clears. Cy Woods will begin another rush up the ice. Noah Zimmerman watching as Miller Sends a lead that's blocked by Zimmerman. Puck hops to Dunn, skates down right wing. Taken away by Noah Zimmerman, but not out of the zone. Kept alive by Fried. Tries a pass, it's intercepted at center. Played with a high stick by Lopresti, and then touched up by Fried with 44 seconds to go in the first period. 33 seconds to go on the Wildcat power play. And the faceoff comes down to the Wildcat zone. Face off to the right of Miller. Dunn and Letty for the face off, one by Dunn. Up the far boards, sped ahead for Lopresti. Mill the ice. Dunn got knocked down from behind. Here's Letty on the shorthand, down left wing. Shoots from a tough angle, well wide. Hits the corner glass. 25 seconds to go. Fisher and Peterson meet up in front of the Wildcat bench and the puck goes in to the Wildcat bench. 24 seconds exactly left in the first. Still looking for our first goal of the night here from the Aerodrome in the Willowbrook area. Face off outside of the side wood zone. Skated in on the shorthand. Letty to Vandermarle. And his shot attempt was disrupted by Lopresti. Now two on two the other way. Fried, Lopresti, hard off the stick, a backhander. And Fried couldn't get a shot away with nine seconds to go. Dunn leaves it in the left circle for Fisher. Hassled by Peterson. Fisher gets it back with three seconds to go below the goal line, and that will do it for the first period. We are scoreless after one. Second period on the other side of this break. This is the ISHL Game of the Week on the Legacy Sports Network. Hello, I'm Dr. Steve Hotze. Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Are you fed up with your doctor giving you drugs simply to mask your symptoms rather than treating the cause? As you age, I believe you should be brimming with energy, vitality, and enthusiasm for life. The Hotsey Health and Wellness Center treats individuals from all over the country and world in an environment of extraordinary hospitality. We specialize in the treatment of allergies, yeast, replenishing natural hormones, vitamin and mineral supplementation, and a healthy eating lifestyle. 
all of which boost your immune system, increase your energy level, and your health span. If you'd like to obtain and maintain health and wellness naturally without pharmaceutical drugs, then contact one of our wellness consultants today at 281-698-8698 or visit hotchwc.com and request a free copy of my best-selling book, Hormones, Health, and Happiness. To be a mentor, you don't have to have some special talent. That's why we're having some real-life mentors sing for us. Hit it, guys. Row, 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 row your boat. Channel it down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Thanks, that was awful. So remember to mentor a child. You don't have to be perfect. Row, row, row your boat. Please stop. You just have to call Save the Children toll-free at 1-877-BA-MENTOR. A message brought to you by Save the Children and the Ad Council. Michael Silvers here from the Aerodrome. No score after one. Power play is over at the conclusion of the first period, so the teams will skate five aside. McMillan to my left and Miller to my right. Face-off victory for the Wildcats. Diaz at left defense, plays it off the glass. Bloom slapped at it with his hand. Alex Zimmerman shoots it into the Wildcat zone. Letty first to get there on the four check. Shouldered by Brachlow. Brachlow then gets hit by Alex Zimmerman. And the puck is worked over to the opposite corner. And now Hart at left defense, backhands it into the circle. Puck comes to the slot, taken away by Hart. And on the forehand, he looks for a cross ice pass that goes all the way through. Letty chops at it and sends a slap shot in the direction of Miller, who makes the glove save 38 seconds into the second period. League's top scorer, Nathan Horn of Memorial West, 42 goals, 24 assists, 66 points. His teammate Ryan Valdivizo is the top goalie. Quick face off, quick shot, Miller with another save. Valdivizo has a 2.00 goals against average. Another face off, Butler couldn't get the shot away. It's flipped out to center ice by Jeremy Solano. Now skated down left wing by the leading scorer for Cy Woods, Kenneth Fisher. Back up the near boards, Butler, backhands out the center. Curry hands it back to Butler across the blue line. He's taken off the play by Brutslow below the goal line and then checked into the boards. Worked free by Dunn. Back to Fisher. And ahead to Dunn as he skates down right wing with Solano. Then he is canceled out by Peterson, who takes the puck away, flips it all the way around behind goal and out to center. Bratchlow at left defense. Kicked forward by Lopresti. Bratchlow chopped away from him by Curry. Lopresti back to center ice and Bratchlow. And the Cy Woods captain skates across the red line and sends it in. Peterson, first one through, right wing corner. Plays it up the near boards, out of the reach of Solano. Blake Shimp checked into the glass by Bratchlow. And again, it is worked in deep by Cy Woods. Colin Grubb, Cole Grubb, excuse me. Sends it in, cross corner, into the Cy Woods zone, but he played it behind the red line for an icing. 2.03 gone by. No score. Cy Woods can certainly have a spark to their season as they can hand the second place Tomball a loss here tonight. Alea Distelswig has come on for Cy Woods here early second period for an offensive zone draw. Jacob G will take the face off and Noah Zimmerman wins it. And it'll be skated out left to right by Tomball. Fed ahead for Alex McMillan before it is shot back out to center ice. Alex Zimmerman got only to the Sidewoods blue line before it is chopped back out. And he was stymied. Alex Zimmerman, left wing for Newton. Down the left wing boards and then fed towards the middle of the ice before it's out of the 
off a stick of a Tom Ball skater and cleared by Cy Woods. So they'll try again. Swing and a miss on a passing attempt along the left wing and now G will skate it down right wing and softly shoot it back in to the Tom Ball zone. Noah Zerman up the near boards. Finds brother Alex who skates in down left wing. Pass across. McMillan shoots and that was blocked to the near corner. Worked around the boards by Cora Ann Miller. Below the goal line. Lopresti hassling the Tomball player. And back out to center ice it goes. Wissing. Back into the Tom Ball zone, cleared by Alex Zimmerman. Shot back in by G. 11.35 remaining in the second period. No scores, no Zimmerman will skate it out. One of the seniors for Tom Ball on this their senior night. As Zimmerman cuts to his right through center ice, gains the offensive zone. Chabastari providing pressure defensively. Puck sent all the way back down off the backhand of Brachlow, and it is called for icing with 3.45 left to go here in period two. Face off comes down to the right. A freshman goaltender Chance Miller. Curry lost it to Dunn. But he's able to take a shot that was blocked. Cy Wood skated out from right to left. And then turned back by Watson. And now Dunn will control for Cy Woods in his own zone. Has trouble dealing with the forechecking of Bryce Vandermarle. Sophomore, puck is loose. Making a stab at it was Miller, but it's still loose and then cleared by the Wildcats. Right on to the tape of Hart. Gives it off to Watson. Backhands it to the Wildcat zone and to the blue line. And then here comes Fried skating down left wing. In across the blue line, has some good stick handling, uses his skates, try to filter it back to the point, but nobody was home. And now a skate race as Brochlow is able to beat Vandemarl to the puck. Skate from right to left, with speed, middle of the ice, wrist shot, and that's fought off by the shoulder of David McMillan. Letty, a little bit of an elbow to Shabastari. Shabastari plays it behind the goal onto the stick of Letty as he skates up the right wing and now it's done and then he lost it and then comes out to Hart, plays it in deep. No icing as he was just across the red line. And then Diaz battle, puck hops loose and a shot by Wilson went wide. 9.50 to go here in the second period of a scoreless game between Cy Woods and Tom Ball. Now skating in, right to left, done. Pushed into the boards by Blake Ship. Left at the half wall of Fried, but Letty skates it out. Fried loses his stick. Hart tries to play it, almost turned it over at the blue line to Shabastari with four checking pressure. Tom Ball get it back out to the neutral zone where it is skated in by Letty. Letty stick handles, swiped away inside the slot by Diaz. Back inside the slot on the backhand. Butler couldn't get a shot away. It comes through to the slot and out of the reach of Blake Shimp as the Wildcat got there first. Another centering feed is blocked to the far corner as Fisher comes in on the back check to help out. Plays it up the right wing boards. And now Dunn holds, finds Lopresti. He'll take it down the left wing boards and backhand it into the Tomball zone. Six minutes gone by in period number two. Butler loses it. Two on one, a shot. Another save by McMillan from a tough angle as he beat Fisher, as he stopped Fisher. And now Butler goes down. Fisher with a check and open ice. Left defense in his own zone. It is Diaz. Sends it all the way down and commits an icing with 8.32 remaining in the second period. Still no score. Coming up next week at the final ISHL game of the week of the season as the Rich Point Panthers battle the straight Jesuit Crusaders. Coverage will get started at approximately 645 right here on your home for the ISHL, the Legacy Sports Network. Offensive zone draw and a victory for Noah Zimmerman. Shot by Newton was blocked. Puck bounced in the slot before it was cleared by Cy Woods. Hart watched by Wissing. Hart takes it down left wing. Looking for a centering feed. 
comes to the left wing circle. Noah Zerman tried to leave it to a teammate. Now it was Cole Grubb. Now it's a three-man scrum, a fourth in there. That's G, so a two-on-two -two battle in the far corner. Puck work free, kicked along by Grubb, and a penalty on Lopresti. And they continue to battle, a little trip by Lopresti as he's going to go off. Seven oh one, the time of the penalty. Still waiting for the call. John Devon goes and talks with Vincent Solano. And Lopresti is going to skate off the ice. Wonder if his night's done. That's a big loss for Cy Woods. It's a two-minute minor. But maybe what happened after the whistle is what led to Lopresti getting sent off the ice and back to the dressing room. John Dibber now will go talk with Tomball head coach Colin Grubb. It'll be a Tomball power play sponsored by Mr. Electric. Mr. Electric, we have the power to make things better. They have the league's worst power play, converting at .92%, 6 of 65. Cy Woods has the six-ranked penalty kill, killing 79.6%. 11 goals allowed, five shorthanded goals. Four of those, three of those shorthanded goals, I beg your pardon, belong to Kenneth Fisher. Two of them to Curtis Bratchlow. Patrick Dunn being talked to by John Dibburn. Tomball without their captain, Will Shimp. Suspended for this game. He'll be eligible to return for their finale against Straight Jesuit on March 3rd. Seven fifty-nine left in the second period of a scoreless tilt. It'll be an offensive zone faceoff for Tomball. And the puck will be dropped to the right of Chance Miller. Two referees, John Dibbert and Jarrett Schoen. Still talking, and Dibbert goes and talks again with Colin Grubb, the bench boss of Tomball. Still trying to sort something out here. Looks like Ruben Bloom will serve the two-minute minor taken by Lopresti. Because Lopresti has been shown the door. And he's back in the dressing room. Now, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to come back or not. He could be serving a 10-minute game as conduct. And since... There's less than 10 minutes remaining in the second period. He's just gone to the dressing room. And will come out for the third period to serve the rest of his 10 minutes. Up. Oh. And again, more discussion about what they're doing with all of this. Another officials conference. Three of them are there, now fourth, and now one of the referees is gonna go to the scores table, walk through the door, I guess, to explain everything clearly instead of trying to talk through glass. <laughs> Hockey day in Houston is tomorrow, down at the St. Arnold Brewery. I'll be there for the first hour just hanging out with family. Should be able to make it down if you can. Should be a lot of fun. I 
I know the operator of the aerodrome, T.C. Lewis, will be down there. Long delay here in the second period. All right, so now we see a five-minute penalty on Lopresti for whatever it was he did. But Tomball has a two-minute minor on Cole Grubb. So I guess they're sorting it all out. Cole Grubb and Lopresti after the whistle, but Lopresti's penalty, well, now they've walked off all the penalty time off the scoreboard. So five minutes on for Lopresti. And no penalty time on Grubb, but he is sitting in the box. And it looks that it's a five-minute major penalty on Cy Wood. So it is a five-minute major power play for Tom Ball. Alex McMillan skates in, drops it. Peterson, high slot. Wrist shot, score! What a snipe by Jack Peterson. His sixth goal of the season, and it comes on the power play. And again, this is a major penalty that Cy Woods has to kill off. So it could be an abundance of goals if Tom Ball can take advantage as Peterson scores at 7-17 of this second period. Beat Miller high glove over the left shoulder. Dunn wins the faceoff, clears it briefly into the Tomball zone. Turnover at center, spun back to Bratchlow at left defense, and he clears it. In on the four check on the shorthand comes Kenneth Fisher, and he pins the puck against the boards. Two Tomball skaters there to try to peel away with the puck. That was Peterson and Noah Zermans able to get the puck below his goal line. Tom Ball with a power play goal. You can't really say too many times that they've scored on the power play. That was just their seventh of the season. Alex Zimmerman puts on the brakes deep in the side woods in. Takes it below the icing line. Spun it back to the point. Hart, wrist shot. And that one got on target. Miller with the save. They battle in front, and Miller able to make a stop at the top of his crease. 3.51 of penalty time remaining. 6.50 left in the second period. It is 1-0 as Tomball got the goal on the power play. 7-17, the time of the marker. Peterson with the tally, although the scoreboard still says 0-0. John Dibbern, I believe, has gone to the official score, and there is the one. Face off to the right of Miller. It's won by Tomball. Hart down the boards in the circle. Another wrist shot off target. Peterson gets the puck right point position. Nice stick handling to get by Fried. Passes over to Alex Zimmerman. Zimmerman skates it down in the corner, monitored by Brochlow. Comes all the way around to the near board, spun it back to the point. Peterson, one timer by Hart. He swung on and missed from the left circle. Letty, side of the net, now below behind the goal, looking for a pass in front. Puck ricochets off the far boards, and then Peterson knocks down G, and he's going to head to the box. And it's going to be four on four for two minutes. Peterson, despite his size, is only taking five minors at number six. Eight forty-seven. The time of the penalty. As Peterson ding for roughing. So four on four for two minutes. And then Tom Ball will get 
More power play time with a minute 14 of the five minute major. Four on four is Bratchlow. Backhands it down the boards before Tomball clear it back to center. On the tape of Bratchlow at right defense. Spins it left wing for Dunn. Past him and down into the Tomball zone where Wyatt Hart will play it. Uses the end boards. Watson, feathered to the head. Going to carry on by Butler, but Zimmerman, Noah Zimmerman, came across too soon. A side is called with 547 left in the second period. 1-0 Tomball on a goal at 717 by Jack Peterson. Very early on that five-minute power play. That has since now gone to a four-on-four four with a minute 34 remaining on the four-on-four. Four. Skated in Butler with a wrist shot and a paddle save by Miller. Cy Woods couldn't clear the zone. Watson backing it towards goal. Bounces in and out of the glove of Miller and then Noah Zimmerman shot it over the net on his backhand. Bratchlow will skate it out right to left. Ahead for Miller. Two on one. Bratchlow heads to the net. Shot Miller. Saves Zimmerman. Bratchlow loses it to Noah Zimmerman with a minute to go of four on four hockey. More power play time coming up for Tomball as soon as the four on four comes to an end. Butler strides down right wing. Dunn tries to take him off the play, lost it. Bratchlow will lose it, and then it is poked out to center by Dunn. Fisher left it for Dunn, but he wasn't there. And then Cora Ann Miller shoots it back out to center ice. Hart spins it back in, and it comes right back out to center. Watson. We'll lift it back into the Cy Woods zone. 30 seconds of four on four hockey remaining. Cy Woods clear it all the way down into the Tom Ball in. Watson will recoil. Up left wing at center. Fisher disrupts Blake Ship's pass attempt. Brochlow now right defense to center ice left wing. Dunn cuts to his right, skates it across the blue line, leaves it for Fisher. His shot was blocked. A bouncing puck controlled by Watson. Five seconds remaining on the four on four before Tom Ball heads back to the power play with a minute 14 left to go on the major penalty. Hart keeps it alive in the zone. Down right wing, comes back out to Blake Shimp with a soft shot and into the glove of Miller. 404 remaining in the second period, one nothing Tom Ball, 105 of major penalty time remaining. Lopresti ding for the five minute major. It's being served by Ruben Bloom. Well, Presti also kicked off the ice. Don't know if it's just for 10 minutes or for the remainder of the game. This we'll see in the third period at about the point where the 10 minutes of the game is conduct would be completed. Bratchlow slaps off the glass and it comes right back to him as he was trying to clear it, and he does eventually clear it all the way down. Here's Alex Zimmerman for Tomball with Peterson, his defense partner. Alex Zimmerman, the sophomore, skates it through center on right wing. Forced wide by Fry and Shabastari. Still got a centering pass to hit the side of the net. Ricocheted on the stick of Fry, who skates it ahead for Weiss Wissing. He lost that to Blue Line. Got it back from Fried. Now Blake Shimp. Now here's Peterson. Peterson skates it in. He's the goal scorer. Tried to skate it through a couple of Wildcats. A oh, puck is loose. It was almost an own goal. Centering feed picked off by Shabastari ahead for Fried. And still skated in from right to left. He's got Weissing, or Wissing, I should say. Fried, and then a retaliatory shot. Fried goes down. Tomball going to head back to the penalty box as the major penalty is killed with only one goal given up by Cy Woods, Alex Zimmerman heads off. Twelve oh one, the time of the roughing penalty. Four penalties taken in the second period. This is a Mr. Electric power play for Cy Woods. Mr. Electric, we have the power to make things better there. 0 for 1 tonight. They can come through here. They'll tie the game up at a goal apiece. Face off to the left of Zimmerman, or excuse me, McMillan. 
And a quick shot by Fisher and a glove save by McMillan. Nice set play by Cy Woods there. After Dunn won the faceoff, quick shot by Fisher. He'll do it again. The battle for the faceoff. Dunn to the slot and taken back by Alex McMillan from left to right. Skated in, Noah Zimmerman, wrist shot, punched away by the blocker of Miller. Alex Zimmerman tries the centering feed, paddled to the side of the net by Miller. Now up the near boards, it's Solano. Turned over at the red line, Hart tries to skate it back in, and he does. Here's White Hart, stick handling, shooting wide. 2.25 remaining, second period, one nothing, Tom Ball. Puck comes out to the neutral zone in a skate race. Fisher gets to the puck first on left wing. He is hassled by Watson. A centering pass at the side. That's Solano with a shot at point blank range. McMillan made the save. Solano tries a backhand centering pass. It's intercepted. Kept alive by Diaz. Diaz with a long wrist shot into the glove of David McMillan. Nearly 13 minutes gone by in the second period. one nothing tumble. One power play goal. Scored by Jack Peterson early on that five minute major. Face off to the right of McMillan. In the offensive zone for Cy Woods. Distal swipe comes on. Here's Peterson flipping it off the boards. Kept alive by Cora Ann Miller. His distal swag with a shot and a save by McMillan. Easy work on that soft shot. As the puck kept alive at the left point by Miller, and then she goes down, hit by Letty. Here's Peterson on a two-on-one. He shoots, and a blocker save by Miller is made. Puck turned over to Brochlow. Below his goal line, ahead for Wissing, middle of the ice. Got it back on a ricochet by Cindy, Cindy Newton, and then it's lost by Brochlow, who skates in deep. And then it comes out to Letty, who skates it through center from left to right in the last 120 of the second period. Pocket pick by Bratchlow. He skates down left wing, cuts to his right. Now will shoot, and a save by McMillan. A rebound, another save, a third swipe out of by Wissing, and another save by McMillan as he shuts the door on Cy Woods. In the corner, Newton battling. Distal Swig tried to play it back to Miller at the half wing boards, and it's turned over. Here comes Letty striding in, left to right. Forced wide by Bratchlow. And then a shot by Vandermarle is high and wide. 50 seconds to go, Distal Swipe. Backhands the puck deep in her own end, but she can't clear the zone. Recoiling now is Dunn, and Dunn will saucer it ahead for Bratchlow. Bratchlow activates on defense, and he shoots wide as he was hassled by Peterson on a shot attempt. 33 seconds left in period number two. Still one nothing. Tom Ball. Here's Bratchlow playing it down the boards. It ricochets off the glass to the slot. A clearing attempt hits Solano, comes back to Newton. She flips it off the glass and out the center ice where Butler will play it as he skates from left to right. He's got Ship and a long shot by Butler, a save made by Miller. 10 seconds to go. Dunn up the left wing and is poked out of center by Bratchlow. Three seconds to go. Solano to Bratchlow, disrupted by Ship, and that does it for the second period. One nothing through two, Tom Ball with the lead, and this is the ISHL Game of the Week on the Legacy Sports Network. We've got the power to make things right. Mr. Electric, show you the light. Looking for electrical help you can count on? Switch to Mr. Electric. We have some of the best trained electricians in the business, and they're ready to help you with any project, big or small. Best of all, with Mr. Electric, our work is 100% guaranteed. That's why so many people trust Mr. Electric. We've got the power to make things better. Mr. Electric. Are you ready to restart your path to wellness? At the Hotsi Health and Wellness Center, the most common goals that we hear from our new guests are losing weight, increasing energy, improving sleep, and increasing mental focus and clarity. Most importantly, people want off the prescription medications and to get back to a healthy and balanced life naturally. Are these your health goals too? Let us help you take charge of your health and wellness just as we're helping thousands of others every day. 
Get off the meds and on to wellness naturally. Let our doctors, nurses, nutritionists, and wellness coaches carefully craft the healthy life you've imagined. Feel better, look better, live better. Visit HOTZEHWC.com to learn more or call us at 281-698-8698. Mention this ad and receive two of Dr. Hotze's best-selling books free with your consultation. 281-698-8698. That's 281-698-8698 or Hotze, hwc.com. Started the second, start, excuse me, started the third period. Miller to my left, McMillan to my right, one nothing Tom Ball. Goal came at 7 17 of the second period. Jack Peterson scoring on the power play. The side would find the game tying goal. McMillan one period away from a seventh career shutout. The side was blue line, it's Diaz, has trouble with it. Able to work it over to Bat Shabastari. Glove down by Fisher at the red line. Skates in down left wing. Noah Zimmerman takes the puck away. And it is skated close to the blue line by Dunn. Comes together with Noah Zimmerman. And a whistle stops play. And a roughing minor is called. Early here in the third. Noah Zimmerman heads back. Or heads to the box. 50 penalty minutes coming into tonight's game. Cy Woods 0 for 2 on the power play. This power play is sponsored by Mr. Electric. Mr. Electric, we have the power to make things better. Face off to the right, make it left of McMillan. Bratchlow hands it across. A wrist shot, deflected. They battle for it. Puck is loose and they score. McMillan couldn't locate it, and Fisher able to tie this game up at one, eight seconds on the power play. Fifth power play goal for Kenneth Fisher, his 21st goal of the season. We have a tie game as special teams has come through for both Tom Ball and Cy Woods tonight. Wildcats win the faceoff. Fisher chopped away from him. Shabastari off the boards into the Tom Ball zone. Quickly cleared by Peterson. Puck comes back in on delayed offside. Controlled by Tom Ball and flipped out to the neutral zone where Letty got it by Diaz. Stick handling. Letty poked away at the last second by Dunn. Letty trying to filter, tries to filter it back to Alex Zimmerman, and he does. Passes to the high slot, then ricochets right back to Alex as he skates into the right wing corner. Watched by Dunn. Backhand pass goes to the side of the net. And now Solano will flip it back out to center ice. 90 seconds gone from the start of the third period. Early goal by Cy Woods on the power play by Fisher has tied this game up at one. Peterson and Letty get tied up with each other. Now Vandermarle skates in down left wing. Puck ricochets off of the defenseman Diaz's body and into the glove of Miller. 144 removed from the start. Of the third period. Game is tied at one. Our final ISHL game of the week comes to you next week from Sugarland. 6.30 start for straight Jesuit and Ridge Point. Face off to the right of Miller. Gives it off to Bratchlow, who skates with speed. Left to right, across the red line. Shoots from the blue line wide. Ends up getting his own rebound, but it's taken away by Hart. Uses the far boards, and it is chipped middle of the ice. Carried in for Tom Ball. The pass goes all the way through out of the reach of Blake Shimp. Poked in the corner by G. Played up the near boards, and then Hart will shoot. And a glove save by Miller. Tried to glove it down, keep play moving, but the whistle sounds with 214 removed.
Face off to the right of Miller. Tom Ball with an offensive zone face off. One by Curry, swept to the far board, saying Wissing couldn't clear it. Puck ricochets, high slot, and it is swept over to the near boards by Bratchlow, kept alive at the point by Hart, kicked out the center ice. Poked ahead, Wissing to Fried, shoot, save, rebound, and a swing and a miss. Ahead from right to left, Curry. Hassled by Fried, down the left wing, Wissing leaves it at center ice. Blake Schick cuts him off right in front of the Tom Ball bench. Nearly three minutes gone by here in period number three. One-one game and a five-man scrum right in front of the penalty boxes. And then there is a penalty on Tom Ball. Wissing goes down as Ashton Butler's going to go off. Time of the penalty, 3.01 of this third period. Mr. Electric power play. Mr. Electric, we have the power to make things better. Cy Woods, one for three, including the goal that came at 45 seconds of this third period, scored by Kenneth Fisher. Now Cy Woods, an opportunity to take their first lead if they can convert on special teams. Shabastari in the left wing corner. Sweeping with his stick defensively, Peterson. Tom Ball can't clear the zone, diving to keep it in, done. In the corner, it is flipped out. Hit with a high stick, trying to keep it alive, done. Touched by Bratchlow, and it's whistled down. 135 remaining on the power play. Faceoff will come down into the Wildcat zone. Dunn will take it. He's able to beat Noah Zimmerman. Dunn gets it to Shabastari. Ahead up the left wing, Fisher. Fisher has Solano headed into the offensive zone. Here's Fisher on the man advantage. Forced to hold the goal line. Sinners one, and now Dunn looking for a shooting lane. And it's taken away by Tom Ball. Bratchlow gets back defensively, disrupting Alex McMillan right in front of the Wildcat bench. One minute to go on the power play. Four minutes gone here in the third period. Fisher chips it out of the zone. Carried across down right wing by Solano. Cutting to his left, and the big fellow gives it off to Bratchlow. Taken from behind as his pocket is picked by Peterson. He loses the handle, but it's Alex Zimmerman who plays it off the boards and off of the body of Dunn and out to center ice. And now Bratchlow trying to carry it back in. Loses the handle as he crosses the blue line. Skated out by Alex Zimmerman with 30 seconds to go. Alex Zimmerman on the shorthand, forced wide, and then shoots from a sharp angle, and it was blocked by Bratchlow. Shabastari lifts it, but turned it over, and then the shot by Grubb is right into the glove of Miller, 18 seconds of power play time remaining for Cy Woods, 10-17 left to play in the third period. This game is tied at one here from the Aerodrome. Excellent crowd on hand. They're standing along the glass. Bleachers practically full. Faceoff win by Fried. Bratchlow from left wing to right wing. G turned over in his own zone. Here's Alex Zimmerman skating with it. Takes it from left to right. Down the board, pass Wissy. Here's Zimmerman with a centering pass that was blocked. And now Bratchlow will skate it out. Penalty time is over. Teams skating at even strength. Bratchlow stick handles across the blue line. Wrist shot over the glove of McMillan. And the ricochet is into the glove of McMillan off the glass. Right in front of Bratchlow, who almost was able to get his stick on the rebound. Nine fifty to go. Faceoff comes to the left of McMillan. Pride takes it, beats Letty. Puck remains in the zone. Shot down around the boards by Diaz. Comes to the right wing half wall. Fry down the boards. G flips it towards center, and then it is cleared by Tomball. Diaz, the first one through. 
Wissing turned over. And back comes Tom Ball from left to right. Across the blue line, shot on, and a kick save by Miller as he stops Watson. Now Vandermarle shoots from a tough angle, and that off the shoulder of Miller and behind the goal. Watson gets his own rebound, pushed into the boards. A pass to the side of the net, turned over. Vandermarle tries to get a shot off, does get a shot off. Miller makes another save. And another shot, this is Letty, and Miller stands tall with another save. Wissing, far boards, clears it all the way down. A lot of the ice shavings, that puck won't get down to the goal line, so there will be no icing. 8.50 remaining in regulation, and a 1-1 game here from the Aerodrome. Vandermarl skates it past the red line, pocket picked by Bratchlow. Bratchlow filters it back in deep into the Tomball zone. Carry up the boards, Blake Ship now. Gets it out the center ice. Swept over to Vandermarl, turned over as Dunn now skates it in left to right. It's Dunn, hassled by Watson. A sharp angle shot and a save by McMillan. The puck rebounds behind the net. Dunn backhands at Shabastari, keeping the point. His shot blocked high up in the air. Bounces down. Shabastari has it on his stick and he loses it to Watson. Tom Ball skating from right to left here in this final period. Seven minutes gone by. Shot in, cross corner by Tom Ball. Bratchlow, first one to get it. Wraps it around on the reverse. Solano could handle it. Dunn kicks it along, but then it is shot and a kick save by Miller. Butler shot it from the half wing boards along the right wing. Now it's Noah Zerman, his shot was blocked by Fisher, keeps it alive in the offensive zone. Good shift by Tomball. Here's Tom, here's Dunn. Hassled by Shimp on the four check. It comes back to Alex McMillan. Swings and misses, then shoots just wide to the right of Miller. Shopping at it, Butler at the side of the net, couldn't get it on target, and it is cleared by the Wildcats with 7-10 to go here at the Aerodrome. Game is tied at one, Sidney Newton on for a shift. We've got a whistle that stops play. Do not believe there was a penalty. Just the play whistled down. The explanation to the official score. 7.54 gone by here in the third period. Nobody skating to the penalty box. Seven penalties combined between the two teams. Tomball has taken the last five, but they have six of the seven. Not uncommon. The race between them and the Woodlands to see who will have the most penalty minutes at the end of the regular season. And they'll do the face off again. I don't know if everybody was ready. Oh, there is a penalty. I missed it. It's on Tom Ball. And it's on Blake Shimp. So Mr. Electric power play for Cy Woods. One of four. Another opportunity to take the lead with the extra man as Fried skates it down left wing. Finds Fisher, who has the power play goal, which tied this game up 45 seconds into this period. It comes back to Shabastari. His shot didn't get good wood on it. McMillan able to fight it off. Bratchlow in the left wing corner. Got it back up top, and Dunn couldn't handle it. And it careens back out to center ice. So will try it again. A backhander. Fisher jostling with Alex Zimmerman, and it is cleared down by Grubb. 115 remaining on the man advantage. Shabastari, watched by the four checking Grubb. Here's Dunn, kicks it with his right skate in the Tomball zone and cleared on the stick of Cole Grubb and he clears it all the way down. Six minutes to go here in regulation. 1-1 game with 50 seconds on the power play remaining for Cy Woods there, one for four on the man advantage tonight. Down right wing, good cross ice pass to Shabastari. And a better piece of defending by Alex Zimmerman. The 
Ty Woods able to keep it alive. Pratchlow plays it below the goal line. Dunn reverses behind the goal. Here's Dunn putting on the brakes. Nobody's in front. Comes back out to the left point. Fisher couldn't keep it alive, and they'll have to regroup with 20 seconds of power play time remaining. Fisher chips it into the zone, but is quickly skated out from right to left by Alex Zimmerman. Watched by Bratchlow, and Bratchlow able to poke check it away, but Zimmerman gets it back on the shorthand. A shot and a blocker saved by Miller. Penalty time is up as Fried skates it middle of the ice. Try to wrist shot, disrupted from behind, couldn't get the shot off, and back comes Alex Zimmerman. Blake Shimp sprung from the penalty box. Wrist shot, that one wide to the right of Miller. Done. Tries to backhand it clear, eventually gets the puck back. Feeds it ahead for Fried, who skates in past Hart. Hart able to disrupt him just enough, and then Peterson with the assist defensively comes back. And we'll skate it now through the neutral zone and shoot it in. And right on target with a glove save. Miller gets a whistle with 434 remaining in tonight's game. 1-1. Peterson scored. The only goal on a five-minute major power play at 7.17 of the second period. Fisher, the equalizer, 45 seconds into the third period, also on the power play. Miller watches his face off come to his left. Puck on the goal line. Vandermarl steered into the boards by Miller. Still Vandermarl shoots, save Miller. Puck is loose at the top of the crease. Swept below the goal line. Bloom keeps it below the goal line. Now at left defense, it's Diaz. And he's able to muscle it back out to center ice. Hart dealing with the four-checking G. Puts on the brakes, carves the ice, skates up the near boards in his own zone. Works it back out to center ice and gets it right back. And then he is taken off the play by G. And a penalty is called as interference. Is called on G and Tomball will get their second power play of the evening. G off at 11.01 for interference. Tom Ball is on a Mr. Electric power play. Mr. Electric, we have the power to make things better. They are one for one on the man advantage. They scored on a five minute major. And the league's worst power play has a chance to do it again and take a 2-1 lead. Here's Hart, left point, shot, right pad saved by Miller. Chavistari tries to clear the zone. As kept alive by Peterson, down right wing, skates in, shoots and scores! On the power play, Peterson second of the game, and he gives Tomball a 2-1 lead. Eleven fifteen, the time of the power play tally. Peterson has scored both Tom Ball goals, and we'll see if this holds up. Tom Ball searching for their eleventh win of the season. Cy Woods, just their fourth. There's another chance, and a shot that was wide of Miller's net from Alex Zimmerman. Now here's Fisher. He's the goal scorer for Cy Woods. Skates down right wing. Forced into the corner, Surrey pass and Dunn's one-timer went wide. That was at point blank range two. Shot from the left point by Shabastari went wide. Fisher, stick handling past Hart, but he couldn't get past another Tom Ball skater. Dunn comes in to help, but it is cleared out by Tom Ball. Now Butler will steer back into the zone. And he shoots and a save by Miller. A long distance shot, he drops it back on the ice, keeps play moving in the last 250 of this game. Vandermarl chopping at it at the red line, left it there. Here's Tomball with a 2-1 lead. Butler 
Cuts to his right, middle of the ice, and he is stood up by Shabastari. Butler goes down, hops back up, gets control of the puck, then loses it. Now Dunn has Solano with them, and the pass over to Solano. It was could, could not be handled. Fisher finds Dunn, who skates in. Here's Dunn, forced wide by Zimmerman. A shot off the stick, deflected by Zimmerman, and he hits the left corner glass. Puck remains in the Tomball zone, skated out by Letty. Letty with a three on two developing. Cuts to his left on his forehand. Letty drops it back and it's picked off by Dunn and he'll skate it back out with Solano down left wing. It is still Dunn in possession. Pass from behind by Vandemar. Drop back. Fry never could get a shot off, but Tom Ball couldn't clear it. In deep, Newton trying to cancel out Solano and she does. Sydney Newton, round of applause. All right, Tom Ball fans here tonight at the Aerodrome. 140 to go in regulation. Back comes Letty for Tom Ball. Lost an edge. Turned over to Bratchlow. Bratchlow skates in with a wrist shot. He scores from the high slot. And this game is tied. Curtis Bratchlow's 14th goal of the season. And we're tied 2-2. He beat McMillan, stick side. And it's the first even strength goal of the game. And now a timeout. Teams will regroup. Not sure who called the timeout. 89 seconds left in regulation. If Cy Woods can hold on and at least earn one point, that will pull them in to a tie with Fair Creek. Was talking with assistant head coach Dale Bloom today, and he, I asked him, you know, if you are the sixth place team in the playoffs, you get College Station in the opening round. If you're fifth, you get the Woodlands. And I asked him, who would you prefer to play, College Station or the Woodlands? He couldn't really give me an answer. Maybe he didn't want to give me an answer. He just wanted to focus on tonight. You wonder which team, College Station or the Woodlands, the Cy Woods matchup best against. Tom Ball is going to have a first round bye along with Klein. Regardless of what happens tonight and regardless of what happens in their finale on March 3rd against Straight Jesuit. 2-2, face off at center. Dunn takes the face off, but Tom Ball wins it. Watson sends it in on goal. Watch low. Off the boards and out the center. 1.15 to go. Flip back in by Tom Ball. Bratchlow has it. Deep in his own end. Watched by Noah Zimmerman. Up the right wing boards. Freed. Make it fried. Pitches it back into the Tom Ball zone. Hart. And on the four check comes burrowing Kenneth Fisher. Puck comes to the high slot. Fried couldn't get the shot off as he is hassled by a couple of Tom Ball players. 50 seconds to go. Dunn lost it to Peterson. Peterson couldn't get a shot off. Trying for the hat trick and the game winning goal. Puck to the left circle. Here's Watson. Watson shoots. Miller makes the save and he holds on. 36.9 to go. The ISHL Game of the Week is a production of the Legacy Sports Network. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, or any other use of this broadcast without the express written consent of the Legacy Sports Network is strictly prohibited. Offense's own faceoff for Tom Ball. 36.9 seconds remaining and a timeout. I think this one's called by Vincent Solano, head coach of Cy Woods. Oh Scoring summary, 7-17 on the power play, second period. Peterson scored to give Tomball a 1-0 lead. 
45 seconds into this final period, also a power play goal. Fisher tied it up for Cy Woods. Tom Ball took the lead on the power play at 11:15. Peterson second of the game at 13:31. Our only even strength goal of the game scored by Curtis Bratchlow to tie it up at two. 36.9 seconds left in tonight's game. Faceoff is in the Wildcat zone. Puck will be dropped to the left of Miller. Noah Zimmerman and Dunn for the faceoff. And just like a, some activity outside of the puck drop between Butler and Chavez Starry, and they'll do it again. Faceoff win for Tom Ball. Alex McMillan with a shot over the goal. He shot it with a lot of force up top. Peterson in deep. The puck comes flipped out of the uh, out of the rink. 26 seconds to go. Face off to the left of Miller. Same two will take the face off. And Zimmerman wins it. Wrist shot hit the side of the net. Off the stick of Alex Zimmerman. Played up the near boards with 18 seconds to go. Kept alive down the boards, Alex McMillan. Done. And a pass in front, shot save, rebound. So Fred would go. Off of Noah Zimmerman's stick with an open net. Another shot. And they battle. Miller looks for the puck. He has it with 3.1 seconds to go. And they come together after the whistle, the two teams. Wow, that was Tom Ball's opportunity late here in regulation to find the game-winning goal, but somehow it stayed out. And after all of that, the face-off comes out to center ice, or will it come all the way down to the Tom Ball zone? Zimmerman. Wait, that David McMillan actually skated to the bench. Tomball may have had an extra attacker out there. Nonetheless, this game's going to end in a tie. Cy Woods, two. Tomball, two. Each team earn a point for Tomball. That is their fourth tie of the season. They have 24 points. They climb to within one point of Klein. Cy Woods with the point. Have pulled into a tie with Fair Creek at the bottom of the North Division. Post-game coverage comes your way after these messages. Final score, 2-2. This has been the ISHL Game of the Week on the Legacy Sports Network. Hello, I'm Dr. Steve Hotze. Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Are you fed up with your doctor giving you drugs simply to mask your symptoms rather than treating the cause? As you age, I believe you should be brimming with energy, vitality, and enthusiasm for life. The Hotsey Health and Wellness Center treats individuals from all over the country and world in an environment of extraordinary hospitality. We specialize in the treatment of allergies, yeast, replenishing natural hormones, vitamin and mineral supplementation, and a healthy eating lifestyle, all of which boost your immune system, increase your energy level, and your health span. If you'd like to obtain and maintain health and wellness naturally without pharmaceutical drugs, then contact one of our wellness consultants today at 281 698-8698 or visit hotchwc.com and request a free copy of my best-selling book, Hormones, Health, and Happiness. There are only two names to know when buying or selling commercial or residential real estate property. Kim Walt and Danette Watuski in Houston with Remax Results are those two names. As part of REMAX Results, Kim Walt and Danette Watuski make your transaction smooth. REMAX Results, hashtag want to move, congratulates all local high school athletes. Their phone number is 713-777-SOLD. Legacy Sports Network, now celebrating 16 years of broadcast excellence. We're your home for local high school sports coverage. Expect excellent audio and video production. Whether listening at home or at the game, find us at lsnsports.com. Legacy Sports Network, 
building a legacy, one game at a time. I'm Lisbeth Marquez, the founder and creator of Houston City Beat, where we are storytellers of Houston, bringing you original content over a multitude of platforms, connecting you with fellow Houstonians. Together, we collaborate to be Houston strong, because this is my hometown and this is your hometown too. And there's just something about that beat. Houston City Beat. Do it again! Oh my God! Michael Silver's back with you. Post game coverage from the Aerodrome as the Sidewoods Wildcats get the game tying goal, an even strength goal at 13 31 by Curtis Bratchlow. They earn a point against second place Tom Ball. The game ends in a 2 2 tie. Coming up next week, it's the final ISHL game of the week of the season as the Ridge Point Panthers battle the straight Jesuit Crusaders. Coverage will get started at approximately 6.45 right here on your home for the ISHL, the Legacy Sports Network. Jack Peterson, both goals for Tom Ball, both on the power play. Fisher scores for Cy Woods on the power play. And again, the only even strength goal was the last goal, the game tying goal, scored by Curtis Bratchlow. Well, that's gonna do it from the Aerodrome on this Friday night. Standalone game in the ISHL tonight. We hope you enjoyed it. It was a good one, exciting in the end action here in the North Division between Cy Woods and Tom Ball. A 2-2 tie with the smoke clear. Michael Silver saying so long from the Aerodrome here in Willowbrook. This has been a presentation of the Interscholastic Hockey League on the Legacy Sports Network. Until next Friday night in Sugarland. So long, everybody.